Hi Gemini, so I like to get straight into the readings. If there's anything that you feel you need to know about the readings, then I do encourage you to read the descriptions box, especially if you're new to tarot. The card deck information can be found in my pinned comments below. And cross watchers, please remember that you can switch the energies if it applies, but do try to keep in mind this might not be your story at all, okay? If if someone else makes an appearance in Gemini's read, it could easily be referring to someone else entirely different that you, Gemini, is dealing with. And equally, Gemini, if you just take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't for another Gemini. Okay, right, let's get into this for you then, Gemini. Boundaries, okay. Um, anything that makes you feel uncomfortable? It means that one of your boundaries or many of your boundaries have been crossed. Okay. Um, again, it, it's another one of these phrases that, that you hear a lot about, but are uncertain exactly what it means. It's like, you know, every, everyone has their boundaries, right? But not everybody is aware of what their boundaries are. So basically, if someone's making you feel uncomfortable, it means that they're getting really close to crossing your boundaries. And it is perfectly within your rights to uh, verbalize, if necessary, where your boundaries are. Um, and if, if someone insists on crossing your boundaries, even after they, they know where your boundaries are, then you're perfectly within your rights to cut them off. You know, no BS, just reinforce your boundaries. How many chances can you give? How many chances are uh, realistic? You know, Th this is all about when someone tells you who they are through their actions towards you, believe them okay don't give them multiple opportunities to repeat the same thing over and over and over don't give them multiple opportunities to hurt you or to take advantage of you or anything like that okay boundaries you hear it a lot we need to completely understand what that entails okay never ever be afraid to Stand up for yourself. Um, there's something else with this as well. If someone is trying to make you feel guilty for having boundaries, you need to ask yourself the question, what would they gain from you having no boundaries? And that would tell you their intentions towards you. Also, you can see in this card as well, there's the infinity symbol, okay? And that would indicate that you're having the same issue with the same person or the same type of person over and over and over. This light on the head, that's the crown chakra. So there's a knowing, you know that this is going to repeat over and over until you break the chain. And you break the chain, you break the cycle by reinforcing your boundaries. Okay. That's Gemini's energy, please. Judgment. That's come out in reverse. That's Pluto energy, Scorpion. Okay. No second chances with this one, with judgment being in reverse. Okay, that, that feels really heavy. Like, I, d I don't usually like the judgment card anyway, but when, when that's, that's come out in reverse now, and it's come out with the nine of wands as well, Sagittarian energy, it does, it does feel really, really dense, really heavy. Um, really quite depressing as well that there's a oh it's like someone is making you feel like you're being really uptight but you know that you're not being uptight it is just literally that oh they're my god they're rubbing you up the wrong way with this combination wow uh nine of wands is a wounded warrior uh, is someone who is basically on the verge of giving up so you're needing a push 
Gemini. You need a gentle nudge in the right direction and the right direction is definitely not behind you. All right. Whatever or whoever you have left in the path, please, for the love of all things good, leave it. All right. Don't drag your past with you. you. You're heading in a beautiful direction. And the last thing that you're needing is this baggage. You, you can't climb up a mountain when, when you're dragging this huge rucksack full of rocks. You know, I, I'm trying to put this into a visual for you. you. You need to take up that mountain, the things that you need to survive. All right. And what what you've what, what you're taking with you is a bag of rubble, you know, instead of a survival kit. Uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Page page of coins. Page of Coins has been coming out in everyone's read so far, actually. Um, I've done Aries, Taurus, now I'm doing Gemini. Page of Coins has come out in all three reads. Now, for some of you, yes, it can indicate a child, a specific child. Um, I get for this particular read, though, it pertains to a new path. Okay. Uh, something in the physical world. So some of you could be looking at a new home, a new job or a new like college or university placement, something like that. It's basically a new path that, that you work on in the physical world that helps set you up for the rest of your life. This is the direction that you're headed. You're headed in a brand new direction. And yeah, absolutely. Some of you are looking towards higher education, certainly. Um, but there, there's this fear in your energy. What is it that you're afraid of, Gemini? Could, could this be about failure? Something traumatic has happened to you in the past that you, you can't quite release it just yet. Um, I know you, your past isn't supposed to be a defining feature of who you are and where you're going, but this, it feels like it's something that is still very much a part of you. It's still enmeshed in your energy. And basically, if you've been avoiding working through this issue, through this thing that's holding you back, this past thing, um, then it's time for you to take a break, analyze it and work through it rather than ignoring it. Okay. I mean, you can push something under the rug as much as you like, and eventually there's going to be a huge lump in your rug. <laughs> and, you know, you, you're going to have to walk past it every time you come in, in and out of the room, right? That there's only so much you can shove under a rug. Um, eventually, that lump is going to be so big that you'll end up tripping over the bloody thing and, I don't know, probably breaking your nose or something. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is don't avoid issues that you know feel well need to be worked through okay you're better than that you know that you're stronger than that you can work through it it's very very possible and you'll find as well that once you've worked through this that then creates space in your life for this page of coins that this brand new direction that this thing that you're trying to achieve in your life but is uh, seemingly forever just been out of your grasp okay it's because of this okay right so it's the outside influences the fact in Gemini for some of you this is in reference to a person a person who you've had to deal with multiple times in the past a person who completely disregarded your boundaries, <clears throat> treat you like a doormat for some of you, they're coming back in and you're like, hell no, you're not getting another chance for me. Who do you think you are? Eight of coins, Taurus energy, high priestess moon. Outside. Thank you. Queen of cups, Cancerian. Yeah, moving on, moving on, working through it, um, find, finding your purpose in life. See, this is the thing as well with that judgment in reverse. Someone else made you feel like you didn't have a purpose. 
somebody has been crapping all over your ideas and your aspirations. They, they've been crushing your dreams, basically. For a while, you believed them because for a while, they, they had no regard whatsoever for not just for your boundaries, but for anyone's boundaries. OK, um, their, their whole purpose in life basically was to crap on others and to make everyone else feel like rubbish. Projection, basically. So what we see is for a while you listened to that and you carried it as if as if they were your thoughts and they, they were not your thoughts at all. OK, um, so what we see is you having this epiphany. Now, the tower card isn't here, but I'm definitely feeling that tower energy, that Mars energy, not in, in a destructive way. Well, well, I say not in a destructive way. It's not destructive for you. It's destructive for whoever it was that was putting these ideas in your mind. Okay, it's destructive for them. Your epiphany has destroyed someone else's ability to fuck with you, basically. And that is absolutely beautiful. It really, it, it's amazing. I, I absolutely love this energy. Why the High Priestess, please? Why that? Thank you. Seven of Cups. Okay, Scorpion energy. Uh, realistic. So we've got behind the veil energies with the High Priestess. You also listening to your intuition. You're paying attention now. You're paying attention to not just the, the physical world, but you're paying attention to what it is that you're... Um, your spirit guys for some of you are saying with that high priestess and you, you're paying attention to what it is that your soul wants as well see because what whatever this situation was it did cause a lot of confusion um someone's a bit of a daydreamer as well there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with daydreaming but again it's being realistic and keeping that in balance okay so it's figuring out which of these dreams you can perfect and craft and manifest into reality and which of these dreams uh, temporarily need to be put to the side so that you can revisit later on when you're in a better place okay it, it there's a lot of emphasis here on being realistic, being in the here and now and taking care of the things that you can take care of right now. Why the Queen of Cups, please? Something about heart's desire. Six of Cups reversed. Uh, scorpion energy. That soulmate energy, it's also nostalgia. So yeah, whenever that comes out in reverse, it literally is, look, be realistic. I'm always concerned whenever I see the Six of Cups reversed. And I'm not going to lie, I'm, I am quite concerned because now we've got Judgment reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. So <clears throat> th this could indicate that somebody is trying to make out to you, Gemini, that your version of events are somewhat twisted. And I don't like that because that implies gaslighting. And I freaking hate that. I, I really, oh, oh, gets me so annoyed. Um, you know your version of reality, okay? Do not give anyone else permission to speak on your behalf and to tell your story. OK, quite simply, they haven't lived your life, that they, they, they haven't, they, they don't know you. They, they haven't lived your life. Your past experiences are authentic to you and it's no one else's place to tell you whether or not you're wrong to feel a certain way about your past. Because quite simply, they can fucking do one. They, they didn't live your life. They're not living your life. They're, they're not the one that has to sit with the memories that you have. The nightmares that you have as well for some of you. They, they've got no place to judge. They've got no right to judge. 
that there's quite simply they haven't lived your experiences therefore they do not get a say in it i'm getting agitated with this energy because it's almost like someone's sitting there going i know better and you don't and it's like you, you're like what you're literally talking about experiences that i went through and you're telling me that my experiences were wrong like on whose authority keep perfecting yourself Gemini keep perfecting your craft whatever it is that you're doing for your career or in your life or for yourself as well perfecting your craft that could literally mean you're, you're trying to perfect yourself as an individual keep doing that keep doing you keep listening to the the messages that your spirit guides have really clearly given you at this time and don't take on someone else's version of events as the truth when you're the one that lived in that truth if that makes sense like don't let someone else tell you that you remember something wrong is what i'm getting at all right that six of cups reversed it was to clarify the queen of cups upright so someone has got good intentions towards you but 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 the way that they're going about it is really fucking twisted and it is getting me annoyed because they've got good intentions it is coming out wrong though and it's literally gaslighting you what's the potential outcome here please for gemini ooh, ooh, ooh. the moon uh pisces astrologically it would be cancerian but this is tarot so it's pisces three of coins capricorn nine of cups um excuse me while i have a brain fart that's Pisces energy again I couldn't remember the planet though it's Jupiter and the six of cups again scorpion energy yeah it's that moon you're being told here uh, Gemini to face your fears with this moon like straight up face your fear okay that there is nothing that you you can't achieve with this three of coins and the moon but you have to face your fear rather than running don't avoid the issue whatever this judgment reverses for you that's the thing that you've been trying to hide ignore shove under the rug you have to take it back out again look at it and work through it it's a process go through the process okay and through that process is your wish fulfillment for some of you this is pertaining to a um, connection that you feel with another individual a soulmate connection many different types of soulmates okay um i'm, I'm going to keep it really vague because you know soulmates is an umbrella term for anyone that you feel a very very strong connection to okay for some of you this is in regards to an individual that you felt a strong connection to and we do see you get your wish fulfillment quite possibly for some of you with a soulmate on the other side of you facing your fear and taking yourself through this process aka through you not giving up through you standing your ground speaking your truth kindness honesty with love from the heart standing firm in your truth and developing an incredibly strong sense of self your happiness and wish fulfillment is at the end of this really difficult journey the energy at the bottom of the deck five of wands leo energy competition push and pull arguments conflict drama chaos nine of swords under their bloody hell gemini energy stress head you're an absolute stress head right now gemini 
total stress head. Wheel of Fortune under there, fantastic. Jupiter sits uh, Sagittarius energy. This bullshit right here is very, very temporary. Okay, really temporary. Get yourself through this. This is waiting for you on the other side of it. Okay, nine of cups, six of cups. Wheel of Fortune. Um, there, there's been confusion in your energy, Gemini, about you heading in the right direction. Nice, you've got a star under there, Aquarian. And the two of cups under there, Cancerian, a partnership. Things coming together, things making sense, a relationship as well for some of you. Um, yeah, there, there's been a lot of confusion in your mind for a while, Gemini, about whether or not you were heading in the right direction or doing the right thing. Um, some of you have felt a disconnection uh, spiritually. Some of you have felt like your uh, guides have somewhat abandoned you and you might have been confused as to why. You're being reassured here that actually, no, they haven't. They haven't abandoned you. It's literally, you've been unable to hear them because of this Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. Um, the healing process is very... See, some, some people have got the wrong idea about the healing process. I'll put it in terms like this. There isn't a single person on this planet that can sit there, look at you in the face and in total honesty say, I am 100% healed. It doesn't happen. It doesn't exist. Because healing in itself is a process and healing takes time. We can only strive to be the best version of ourselves on any given day. And the, the healing process is a constant. Okay. Every day when something comes up, sit with it, work through it, release it, done. Next thing comes along, sit with it, work through it, release it, gone. Next thing comes along. So you see how it's a process. There is always going to be something that comes up that you're going to have to work through and process through. Some of you have been really horrible horrible to yourselves for feeling like a failure because you feel like something that happened 10, 20, 30, 40 years for some of you, something that happened that long ago still has an effect on you. And you're sitting there going, I feel like a failure, I feel like a failure, I should be over this by now, yada, yada, yada. No, 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 no. It doesn't quite work that way, okay? Because remember the healing, it's a process. Some days you're going to feel great, other days you're going to wake up and feel like you've taken 20 steps backwards in your progress. Healing is not linear. It's not linear. There's going to be ups and downs, twists and turns and all the rest of it. You have to speak kinder to yourself. You have to be kinder to yourself. This isn't wallowing in self-pity. That This is something that, that you've been ignoring. It, it's now like an inch away from your nose and you've got no other choice but to face it and to, to, to really look at it and to work through it. And then once you've worked through it, you can release it or release pieces of it. So it no longer has so much of a, a hold over you. That's the healing process. It's not like, oh yeah, I work through that and now I'm fine, I'm 100% I'm healed. That doesn't happen, it's a process. Especially those of you who have, have um, gone through like really bad trauma, really, really bad trauma. It, it'll always be there, like remnants of it will always be there and every so often pieces, pieces will float up to the surface so that you have to look at it. And, and work through it. But what I see right now is instead of you looking at it, you're like, oh shit, I thought I'd push that down, way down there, and it's popped up again. You know, yeah. It's like if you can imagine you're in a swimming pool and you, you know those big inflatable balloons. If you try and push an inflatable balloon under the water, at the start it's gonna be easy, but then eventually you're gonna get tired and you're gonna have to, take your hands off, stop hiding it, 
and that bloody thing's going to float up to the surface for everybody to see. So it's kind of like that. That's the best way that I can describe the healing process. Things need to come up in order to be worked through. And to not be ashamed as well, you know, because that that's another thing that I'm seeing in these cards. It's like embarrassment, shame, fear. There's been a specific connection that you've had, Gemini, that has triggered this specific healing process. And for some of you, it could, it could well be a twin flame situation that's brought all of this up from your past, specifically because you have to work through its strength, Leo energy, yeah, courage, strength, tenacity. Um, carrying yourself forward with uh, grace and courage. Say affirmations and create a reality. So this is your focus. State as I am. Manifesting happens in present tense in a present life and believable to you. You see with this one, Gemini, be careful of what it is you're telling yourself. If you're telling yourself that you can't do something or that you can't achieve something, then guess what's going to happen? Build, build yourself up instead of pulling yourself down. You've, you've had enough of being pulled down, okay? It's time to turn the tables. Creating reality, live your best life by design. You have amazing experiences, freedom, lifestyle, and infinite potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because others can't see the potential in you or what you're doing, doesn't mean to say that you don't have potential. It just means it's their loss because they can't friggin' see it. Okay, right, so to inject a little bit of light-hearted energies into the end of your read, I do not have the Rebel deck this month. Um, I've put it away for a little bit because I don't want you all getting bored. I have got, I'll show you the box. It's called Get Your Deck Out. Same rules as the Rebel deck if you're offended by swearing and rude stuff, then you definitely want to switch out now. Not all of these cards are like it, but the vast majority are really close to the wind, so... Right. And then the tiny mouse, I skated away from the bullshit and lived happily ever after the end. Wow. Doesn't matter how significant you are or feel, you can choose to leave a bullshit situation. Walk away with your head held high. Say ta-ta or fuck off or whatever suits you best. But do it with grace and go with love. Make your own happy ending. That's beautiful, Gemini. I love that. That's just amazing. So that is what I have for you, Gemini. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so can be found in my descriptions box and it's in my pinned comment below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.